We're starting to see some of the more serious ramifications of excessive plastic use. And while it's not possible to eliminate all plastic from our lives, there really are many ways that we can reduce the amount of plastic we bring into our homes, we consume, and ultimately plastic that we put into the landfill. Now Chad and I have been doing this for some time now, but we're always challenging ourselves to do more. What else can we eliminate from our homes? What else can we stop buying? What else can we replace? So in this video, I'm going to share with you seven ways that you can reduce plastic use in your home. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you believe that it's time to take this plastic issue seriously. One that everybody talks about is plastic bags. These are such a culprit and there are so many alternatives. When we go to a store, if we buy one or two items, we just ask for no bag, please and thank you, and we will hand bomb the items out ourselves. Other options include bringing bags along with you when you go shopping, such as a canvas bag. Even when you go to a mall, you can bring a canvas bag with you and put your purchases into that one bag or multiple bags, depending on how much you're planning on buying that day. And when we do grocery shopping, Chad and I picked up this little thing called a bag pod system, and I'll link to it down below. It's six reusable bags and a little pod system. It has been so convenient. We bring it into the grocery store with us. We always get excited looks whenever we pull it out, and we don't have to bring plastic bags home with us. Either way, there are plenty of options for you to say no to plastic and yes to a more environmentally responsible option. Microbeads were an interesting addition to health and beauty products and the unfortunate part is they end up in the gizzards, stomachs and digestive tracts of lots of small animals both on land and in the sea. So in Canada our microbead ban just went into effect. But if you like that exfoliating property that microbeads offer, there are plenty of alternatives out there. So you can just look for products that contain those. So a lot of companies will grind up beans or shells or pumice, and they will add that to whatever the beauty product is. You still get that great exfoliation, but you're not putting anything unnatural back into the waterways or into the environment. And one of the things I love to use for exfoliating, and you guys know this, is baking soda. Plastic straws are an easy one to say no to. And the funny thing about plastic straws is they often come wrapped in plastic. So really the purpose of a straw is to get the beverage into your mouth. But since you're a functional person, you probably know how to take a cup, put it up to your mouth and sip it. If you really do need a straw, let's say you're having a smoothie or some sort of blended juice and you really want to use a straw, you can use a reusable straw. There are plenty of stainless steel or glass straws very simple to clean them. You can just get a little teeny tiny straw brush. You can pick those up even uh, at your home store or a big box store. Very easy to do, a little bit of dish soap. You can give it a quick clean. I use them all the time for my smoothies and they work just as well, if not better, than a disposable one. Choosing disposable razor blades instead of disposable razors is another way that you can make a better choice when it comes to your plastic consumption. I had the same razor blade handle for about 15 years, no joke, and it worked just fine. But then one day it got to the point where it looked and felt disgusting and it was time for me to upgrade. So I got rid of that one and I finally bought a new one. But while I was using that one handle, I just replaced the blades. Whereas if I hadn't done that, I would have had to replace several razors altogether and just toss the plastic. The other thing to keep in mind is that when you use a reusable blade handle, you tend to get better quality blades. Those disposable razors, they don't work as well and they don't last as long. If you've watched even one Clean My Space video, you know that I'm a huge advocate for making your own cleaning products. And not only because it's less expensive, it's easy and it's effective, but also because store-bought cleaning products tend to be concentrates containing up to 90% water. So what are you paying for? What bottle are you filling all the time? You're just filling it mostly with water. So you might as well just reuse one bottle and make several cleaning products. And then when the spray bottle fails you, at that point you can get a new spray bottle. 
When you have the fun and exciting opportunity to eat fast food, there are lots of different options that you can choose. And there are a lot of fast food joints or food courts that are making more environmentally conscious, responsible choices. For example, they will serve all of their stuff on plastic, reusable, rewashable, plates and give you metal silverware, but some places are still doing the disposable thing and that's fine. But keep in mind there are some places that are more responsible than others. For example, Chipotle, they will serve you a bowl or a salad if you order one with a biodegradable base and an aluminum top. So that is much easier on the environment than say a plastic or a styrofoam container. What you see here is my swell bottle that I've had for a couple of years. You can see all of the little hearts are sort of faded and scratched off, but I don't care. It does the trick. And I can't tell you how many times I've said no to a plastic water bottle when I've just as easily and for free been able to fill up my swell bottle. I take this with me every day and I know if I'm saving on plastic bottles, if all of us started to do it, there would definitely be a significant impact. Now, even if you go to a coffee shop or if you're getting a soft drink, you can fill your swell bottle or frankly any reusable bottle with the beverage of your choice. And that's really what I love about these. They can handle hot and cold, they're very convenient and they're easy to clean. Some of you might be thinking, um, hello, when did my cleaning YouTube channel become so preachy about the environment? But truthfully guys, this is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. Chad and I both take this issue of the environment very seriously and over the past few years, the more we've learned when we're researching and putting Clean My Space videos together, the more we understand how important it is to be careful and conscious of the world and the space that we live in. And that's why we put these videos together. We just feel really strongly about it and it's easy to do. Like these changes are really easy to make. So if we can help you make those transitions, just like we might've helped you switch out from using regular cleaning products to DIY cleaning products, this is an easy change that you can make as well. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, what do you do to reduce plastic consumption in your home or outside of your home? And do you find these videos helpful? Because if you do, I have way more things that I could share with you. I could make probably two or three more videos like this with more ways you could reduce plastic consumption. And if you're down, I will definitely put those videos together and share it with you. So let me know. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn more about cleaning, you can visit our website, cleanmyspace.com. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.